Hey everybody, this is GGB. Fortunately, co-host Puppers isn't here today, but she, she's taking a sick day. Uh, those who might know me, know, or those who watch the channel know I just finished up the Conference of Champions series, and uh, I was planning on just taking a, a little break until like August or September, but here we are. Uh, I didn't mean to be making this film. Anyways, for those who watch the channel, I think I've done a pretty good job with the lighting this time. I mean, you could probably say some mean things to me in the comments if you want. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, I was meant, I meant to just stay inactive for a little bit. I was planning on enjoying my summer vacation, but you know, 2020 has been the most chaotic year since at least the longest I, that I can remember. It's the most chaotic year. Okay, the Australian forest burning. We all thought that was going to be a big deal. Does anyone even remember that anymore? The coronavirus and now the riots that are happening. I feel like our country is falling apart. But, as you know, I'm a mostly, mostly sports channel. So, you might be wondering why I'm posting a video at all. It's... it's Stop. No sports happening during coronavirus pandemic. What are you thinking? Okay. Here's why I'm posting a video, okay? If you do not know, Drew Brees posted a comment a little bit about go about how he personally doesn't understand people who kneel for the flag. Which to me is and I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, is completely justifiable, okay? People out there who are hating on Drew Brees, this is Drew Brees we're talking about. The man on my shirt, the man I will support until the day I die, okay? Drew Brees is one of the nicest people in the NFL right now, and the fact that we are insulting him is just plain wrong, okay? And all NFL players, all NBA players who are insulting him, just don't, okay? He's done more for a lot of communities than you've ever done in your careers, okay? And then he said one thing that you disagree with doesn't mean he should get this hatred. Plus, He's not wrong. He didn't say he doesn't like what they're supporting, which I'm pretty sure everyone likes what they're supporting. Just don't, like, the police treatment of African Americans, that's wrong, okay? You shouldn't, they shouldn't be discriminated against based on their skin. But what he's saying is there's a better way to do it than kneeling for the flag. And here's how I uh, personally view this, because I, I'm an American. I feel like a lot of us that are watching this video is probably American, probably because there's only six or seven watching this video, but my opinion, America's one of the greatest countries on earth, okay? And this is gonna get a little bit of it. I think, my opinion, America's the best country on earth, okay? A lot of people think that they're not, okay? I think they are, but that's a disagreement to have. I understand there's other points to make, like UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, they're all really good countries, okay? But in my opinion, America is one of the best. So, what I see when people stand for the national anthem, it doesn't matter if they're on different teams or if they have there's a conservative and a liberal. We're all the same for a little bit. It doesn't matter your skin color, your sex, uh, if you're gay or straight. We're all together for the national anthem because we all might we all don't think this country is perfect. It's not okay, but. We all stand for what it believes it, what the country stands for, okay? But that's what Drew Brees said. He said both his fathers served in World War II, and he personally doesn't agree with people kneeling during the national anthem. Hundred Again, I'm going to say 100% justifiable, and then he got hatred on YouTube. Oh, hatred on YouTube, uh, hatred on social media. And just people in general. And by the way, if you ever have O.J. Simpson, O.J. Simpson should not be lecturing anyone about acting properly, okay? O.J. Simpson, you got free on murder. So don't, like, rant about ethics, okay? To Drew Brees, of all people, okay? Here's some things that are going around that just isn't true. Number one that he said it unprompted, okay? It was in an interview that he had. Someone asked him specifically what he thought about people kneeling for the flags, okay? What do you want him to do? Lie? I guess that's what they want him to do. But he's a good person, okay? And I'm not, 
I personally don't think you should kneel for the anthem. I think there's other ways to get your point across. <sighs> in front of a police, ha kneeling in front of a police station, that would, I feel like that's better. Uh, you're gonna get publicity no matter what you do. You're an NFL player, okay? If you go and kneel in front of a police station, it's gonna be on the news no matter what. It's gonna be on ESPN. Do that. Don't kneel for the anthem, okay? Fact the second, which I got for Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but don't sue me for it, okay? Drew Brees, okay, this is a misconception. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say fact the second. I meant misconception the second. He doesn't stand for what the African-American community stands for. Of course, that's obviously not true. I mean, literally every single person on in this country, I mean, should stand for what the African-American community is trying to do. It's trying to stop police brutality. That's, that's great. That's an awesome thing to try to do. Drew Brees isn't trying to stop that. I don't know what the heck you're talking about, number one. Number two, why would he ever want to stop that? And what makes you think that he would... He thinks that at all, okay? He's trying to get a point, a point across that maybe kneeling for the national anthem isn't the best way to get your point across, okay? Putting him on fire or killing him with your words, just being mean to a great man in general is just wrong, okay? If you disagree with him, that's fine. If you think that kneeling for the anthem can get your point across and it's not a bad thing, Okay, here's the thing that I hate about this argument, okay? It's freedom of speech. Okay, listen, I agree. Freedom of speech is a great thing. It's one of the things that makes America great and better, in my opinion, than UK or Canada because you can get sued for saying something offensive there, okay? And it all depends on what one person thinks is offensive. The great thing about America is you can say literally everything except for, like, fire in a crowded movie theater, right? It's, it's one of the greatest countries on earth because of that. What? The freedom of speech thing, that's fine. If you want to say that, that's your prerogative, okay? Also, though, the NFL then has the freedom to fire you. We've seen it numerous times before, right, okay? If you say something that the company doesn't like, they have every right on planet Earth to fire you, okay? You've seen it in big corporations like Google and Twitter, and you've seen it in smaller restaurants, okay? They have every right to do that. It's, that's why Colin Kaepernick's not in the NFL anymore. That and because he doesn't have a whole lot of talent, okay? If he had a whole lot of talent, if he was Patrick Mahomes and he kneeled, you know what would happen? He wouldn't be freaking kicked out of the NFL. Do you know why? Do you know why that is? Because Patrick Mahomes is super talented and Colin Kaepernick is just not that talented. You notice that when he started kneeling, he was backup? He wasn't starter anymore because he wouldn't have done it if he was a starter and he had a whole lot to lose, okay? If you don't disagree with him, again, that's fine. But if you want to actually argue your point in a reasonable manner, email me. I will personally respond to you. Emails, themanggb at gmail.com. Email me. I will probably respond. And if we have a civil conversation, that's great. I love debates like those. But debates I don't like is people that just think everyone else's opinions is wrong because your opinion's obviously right. Okay? And by the way, if you want to talk about offensive things that isn't getting enough attention, look at Georgia's quarterback, Jake Fromm, the current backup quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. He's getting nowhere near, near enough hatred that nowhere near the hatred Drew Brees is getting to what he said. Drew Brees said, I agree with your plight. You should not kneel for, but I think you shouldn't kneel for the anthem. I'm personally not going to do it. I don't understand when people do it. That's basically what he said. Jake Fromm says we should make it harder to get guns so only white people who are better than black people can get them. Again, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically the text message, okay? Again, I don't like making fun of quarterbacks and literally anyone for a text message. Again, it said ha ha at the end, which 
indicates he's kind of joking, okay? We don't know the text messages before and after it, okay? They might have been saying absolutely outrageous stuff and just messing around, okay? That could have been what happened. But again, you're saying, you're taking what Drew Brees said out of context, like he doesn't support the cause that African American people are standing for, but Jake Fromm said a whole lot worse. So, you know what? If you want to say mean things about Drew Brees, anyways, like, this is GGB, and I'd like to finish off by saying if you disagree me with me again, please email me at the man ggb at gmail.com. Maybe we'll have a productive, productive discussion. Anyways, again, this is GGB. Unfortunately, no co host hoppers today. Say, saying please like and subscribe. Anyways, adios amigos.